used are provided in a one click download you don't have to install or configure anything you just download it into your computer save it somewhere and you can start using it after you download it is that simple but we recommend that you have a PC or laptop with at least 2 GB memory for your convenience we are giving all the nodes and databases the software you downloaded are already configured these pre-configured software are equipped with a disaster recovery feature that will help you if something goes in your end that will help you to recover by yourself that is a really helpful feature because new people they try to get into problem while they are doing something so this disaster recovery feature is a very good feature that you can use it to recover from a corrupted system we will record every session both video and audio these are the sole properties of IT Dimension SS and we will upload this on a daily basis after completion of each session we will be uploading these videos and we will send you the link you can download it and watch each session before you try to practice we are giving 24 7 support you can ask your questions all your queries you can send it to the email address provided we will try to answer your question as soon as possible main careers in data warehousing fields are development administration analyst these are the main classifications when we get into administration there are system administrator data warehouse administrator database administrator jobs are there then data warehouse architect who design the data warehouse data architect data warehouse manager jobs are there application developer are there like informatica etl developer data cleansing transformation analyst is another job opportunity business analyst is there we collect the requirements basically these are the main job opportunities that you guys are going to have after completion of this data warehousing course some of the abbreviations used are OLTP stands for online transactional processing OLAP online analytical processing ETL stands for extraction transformation and loading DSS decision support system ODS operational data store STG stands for staging these are some of the short forms or abbreviations that we are going to use in our class so try to make a note of all these terms if you are not familiar with this we are going to start a new data warehouse project for a company before starting the project let me give you an idea about how a database not a data warehouse database looks like here you can see a database system this SQL Server database system contains so many databases each database is named we are going to see what are the things in this first database called adventure works let me get into this database we can see a folder called tables because every database contains data this data is arranged in different tables so let me expand it we can see number of tables here in this database each table is arranged into groups what are the different groups in this database human resource is a group person is another group production is another group sales group is there purchasing group is there so we have different groups in this data warehouse where table related to that group is arranged department table belongs to human resources employee table belongs to human resources country region belongs to person contact type belongs to person like that each table is arranged in its own group this group is called a subject area 
human resource is a subject area person is a subject area production is another subject area sales is another subject area so each table is arranged according to its subject area what are the content of this table let us look into the sales customer table this table contains number of rows and number of columns a table is a two dimensional array which contains rows and columns each row is numbered and each column is named we can see we have six columns in this table each column contains its own name and this table contains a lot of data this is the way we are going to arrange data in a table in a database hope you got an idea of how we are going to store data in a database by using tables a data warehouse that is actually a data storing system where we used to store data effectively so you already got an idea of a database and its table its subject areas and how a database store data in a table system table that is a two dimensional array which contains rows and columns we are uh, putting data into each column or row in a database a data warehouse is basically a database but a data warehouse contains a lot more data in an organized way compared to a database so what is a data warehouse there are two people you have to remember first when you trying to study data warehousing